going on YouTube this is Sayyid Musa Kaleem from Epicop and today we're gonna take a look at lazy loading in Ionic 3 let's get started so here is my page you can see here home.html and home.ts file is opened on my Visual Studio code so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this page I'm gonna delete this page and and I'll generate a new one because this home page does not contain any home.module.ts file that is module component which helps in lazy loading so we'll create a new home page by typing ionic g page page name is home then hit enter this command will generate a new home page for us and it also brings the module component along with the page so that module component will help us to create lazy loading in, uh, to give uh, or to use lazy loading in our ionic project so we'll say no it is asking me to update my ionic cli plugin so i'll hit no and this will generate a new page here so I'll show you how you can use lazy loading in Ionic 3 lazy loading let me tell you about lazy loading lazy loading is when you, when you use lazy loading it brings the pages or the components when you require it doesn't uh, load the page unnecessarily so this will increase your performance or this will increase your performance of your app and it also optimize the app so we'll see it is yeah it is generated and now we can see here we have a home page along with home.module.ts you can see here let me tell you about ionic page module this ionic page module helps in lazy loading and this comes from ionic angular and it as you can see here in imports array ionic page module dot for child this injects the page inside the home dot html in the inside the home dot ts file which i'll show you here as you can see here we have a decorator called ionic page this decorator helps in lazy loading to load to load this home dot html page now what we'll do here is uh, we'll create another page to understand lazy loading and we'll give the name of that page uh, called contact with this name we can generate a new page and now we can see here how we can navigate through or between two pages using lazy loading so yeah you can see here we have a contact page and it also contains module component and what we'll do here is we'll create a new button or a ion button inside the home page to navigate from this page to the contact page which we have created just now we'll give this one we'll say ion button and we'll give clear attribute and we'll call a click event navigate to contact page this method will be called and will give contact page inside the button and we'll save this and now we'll go to the home.ts file and inside this we'll create a method with this name and I'll use the nav controller nav controller dot push method to navigate between two pages as you can see here this two this push method takes a parameter and you can see here it takes a parameter of type string page of type string or page of page now in the previous version uh, we have seen that we were we were not using lazy loading technique to navigate or 
to load components but now we are going to use so here we can do one thing we can give our page name like this of type string we are not going to use any physical page components here we'll just use the name of the page as a string this will navigate our page so we'll save this file we'll save these two files and we'll run this inside the browser ionic lab this ionic lab will run our application so I'll show you one more thing here and that is inside the app.module.ts we have given home page inside the declarations array and we have also assigned home pages in entry components so we'll remove later and we'll see how we can load this page so I'll show you later how we can load our home page as a lazy loading or a lazy loading page so this will run the app and we'll see the lazy loading technique and our application is ready now as you could see here it is running it might take some time yeah you can see here it is ready and hope you understand about the lazy loading so far and also I'll show you about the home page component how we can remove the component from app.module.ts and how we can use inside the app.component.ts with lazy loading lazy loading sorry so when you click this button you can see here it is navigating to the contact page you can see here it is working fine now we'll see we'll remove this home page from app.module.ts and also we'll remove this one as well and what we'll do here is we'll save this file and we'll open app.component.ts you might have noticed that while uh, creating Ionic app our home page or, or our root page is set to the home page and here you can see here in app.component.ts that root page is set to home page now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this import statement and I'm gonna make this as a type of string and what I'll do here is I'll just set my root page which is of type string to home page now we'll save this file we'll save these two files app.module.ts and app.component.ts this will also run our home page uh, you could see here you can see here that our home page is running after setting the root page to home and if we click this button it is navigating to the contact page so hope you understand about the lazy mod uh, lazy loading in ionic 3 and hope you got this and also how we can uh, also you have understand how we can use lazy loading in ionic 3 so this is the way you could use this to lazy load your pages while calling them unnecessarily you can load your pages lazy as a lazy one and you can also imp uh, you can also load your components as well using lazy loading so this was the concept of lazy lo loading and hope you understand hope you like it please subscribe and share my videos and thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video.